Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? Please explain. Sir, I'm terrified and may have pooped a little. Avert your eyes and cover your nose. That shit's terrifying. I'm talking about it not me. I'm scared, okay? Please explain. What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. That's bullshit. If you don't see it, you damn sure hear it. That is very loud. It is your... I'm so excited to play this game again, even though I was terrified to get back into this game again. Paladin. And welcome back to Tormented Souls. I think that's what this is called. Tormented Souls? Why do I think Tortured Souls? I truly do not know why. Here's a monster in the camera angle change, but he didn't die in that camera angle change. God damn, I'm thick. You see the cake that I'm working with here? Nibble sin, if you don't leave my box of pop alone. Stop trying to tear it open. Stop. I'm trying to enjoy the cake that is mine. I mean, like, bro. Like typical stuff it's trying to cover it up with things and whatnots but you could see my cake you're not allowed to eat it too I got that cake yeah this guy managed to hit me in the last episode and I'll never get over it never 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 should have shot him from a distance considering I have 60 something freaking nails I have six shotgun we gotta get that other part I have a med kit too like a full ass first aid kit. I have morphine for healing. If I get like one more healing item, I think I'll be a little secure. That guy did smack me, but I'm still in caution right now. So I'm I'm doing well on healing dues and um ammo. What is this? Oh, that's probably how I'm going to get in there. Which means I have to go out here. I could have done this off camera, but I didn't know it was going to be a thing. Um. Give me that back. Um. Nibbles! Stop! Go! Fucking lay down! You're getting on my fucking nerves. Go lay down! Stop it! Okay, I got that back. Now I have a way to get back up here, though. Th through there, or whatever. Yeah. There's no way for me to take the elevator back up, though. Because I would take that elevator and it would pop me out right back over here. No, 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 no. It's the kitchen area. God damn it, Nibbles! Go lay down! Damn her! Yeah, we're not going to fucking be yelling at the cat all episode. I've done that for episodes, and that shit gets annoying. Calm the fuck down and stop doing shit. Because it's here. It's in the chapel. It's through these doors with the bubble on it. That's where the elevator is, right? Yeah, it won't let me back up there through this. But I should be able to go through a different set of doors. Not that one. Now I'm lost somewhere I had to go. 
Because there was a shortcut, yeah? Lay the fuck down! May have been these ones down here. I th think... No, 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 no. Crap. Because it was, it was these, like, bubble looking doors. Doors with, um, a bubble entry. Crap! It's like, hey, bud. There's a door knocker over here. Why is there? Was this here last time? That's creepy. This is not the room that I was thinking of. Yeah. Ah, crappity. I'm fucking lost. There it is. It's still a very creepy just thing standing there, bro. Don't come down. Please. Need a battery for that. Hey. Ooh, F you. F you. F you. F you, bud. This is just gonna lead me back to that. Yeah. It's just gonna lead me back to here. Like, I opened this. There was a bubble door, though, dog. Came down in a bubble, dog. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. I'll be back. Okay. So, go ahead and call me a big, big, fat dummy, big, fat dummy. Because what I had to do was... And yes, I referenced, um... JJ's Residence of Evil live stream to do this. It took him a while to figure it out, too. But what I observed was... Go down in the elevator, up on the second floor, to the first floor. Take the cart, push it in to the, uh, elevator. So, um... Push it in. Don't uh, pull it in because then you'll be stuck. But push it in there so the doors don't close. Then go up to here. Pull the thing from the door down there. Pull, pull the bolt from the door. Then go downstairs to the first floor where you had shoved the cart in. And then move the cart out. And before the doors close... You gotta pull it all the way out. Go in there. Go in the elevator. Hit the second floor. Come off of it like I just did. And now you have the bolt and you're on the second floor. My god, that was like six minutes of me being stupid. <laughs> Welcome back to me. Alright, let's see what's in this operating room. I'm a little terrified. The fuck did that do over here? I guess it did this door. Oh, does it let me in and out of this door too? It provides power for both of them? I didn't know that, but I also don't want to go through the... I am so big. Like, the closer I am to the camera than that door. Like, you see how big I look? Compared to the door over here. It's a perspective thing to be sure. 
But that door looks so small and I look so big. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, cool. It powers both of them. I'm not going to test it out because I don't want to redo that crap. But um, yeah, cool. So I could just leave this in here and I just have my runaround. Let's go into the operating room and I'm scared. Don't you dare! Really? At close range, you dick? Okay. Yeah. Fucking bitch! Why couldn't I fucking hit you on the floor? Like, shoot you. So, let me get this straight. You spit at me at the closest range you possibly could, you dick. And I couldn't shoot you on the ground. I hate that. I hate that. It makes me want to redo this shit. <laughs> Fuck you, bud. <laughs> Fuck off. Fire interview. Thank you for all for all following us to interview you, Director Bertram Wildberg. We are very aware that this is a particularly delicate time for you and the people of Winter Lake. Do you have any information about how the fire began? Experts are working hard to find the answer. Unfortunately, we are still waiting to discover the cause. What will happen now that the hospital is completely lost? As director of the hospital, and as someone grateful for everything life has given me, I am currently working on accommodating the hospital needs within my mansion. This, of course, will be temporary. Uh, at least until we manage to construct a new hospital building. I have also spoken to kind donators, which will be providing equipment and furniture. They will be who will be. How generous of you, Director. I am merely God's servant. I exist to do his will. Okay, well that explains how we end up here. Fuck you in particular, dude, for doing that shit to me. That was rough. I hate it. Nope. Nope. Very nope. So nope. That's where I want to go. I'm not going in there yet. I want to clear out these other rooms first. I keep forgetting. The camera angle doesn't help. Hi! Wow, you make a unnaturally humanistic noise. Fuck off! Bro. I'm, I'm gonna take another one. <laughs> wow, this area has gone horribly. I love it. What the hell is that new ass enemy? Not cool? Anesthesia? There's so many fucking rooms in this new area, man. Can I get like a new save room? Oh. This feels like the beginning of the game. The tub was. Hilladoos? I mean, Hilladoos. It's a disinfectant room. Microscopes and various medicinal items. Bro. I'm in a disinfecting room and I found only shotgun shells. That's a little brutal. Maybe in here. <gasps> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Now I have two. And I'm closer to fine or whatever the ultimate status is. And this. Am I 
doing this right? March 81. They did. Have I read this? I'm not sure. Maria is infected with a rare disease. My two girls are missing. And my father has died. Oh, it's the lady. Upon my return from the business trip, I found the mansion surrounded by police. The officer in charge, without qualm, destroyed my entire world with his cold words. Afterward, they attacked me with annoying questions and did not let me see Maria until they were finished. She appears dead in life. I think this is the mom? I think... Said my two girls, right? I think, would you... Go with it. Has changed quickly into something ominous. Her skin, burnt by what seems to be radiation, is falling apart. Her eyes do not show their pupils, and the only sounds that come from her mouth are feral screams. She was tied to a hospital bed, hand and foot, after attacking two of the nurses. Seriously, is this not... Maybe this is him? She was tied to a hospital bed. One was left with severe injuries. She does not recognize anyone, not even me. The most potent sedatives we administer do nothing to calm her. I know not what they did to her, but I will not stop until I find the cure, and those responsible for this evil act are punished. This is his diary. Okay. We have searched the closest forest and coast for more than six months, but have found not a thing, not even a tear of clothing. The authorities told me that there's no point to keep looking for them. It hurts to think that they might be right. Maria Rain remains in a mental state that I cannot describe. I have never seen anything like it before. This goes beyond any illness. It more closely resembles a demonic curse. I still hold on to the hope that Maria is somewhere inside that decaying being. Sometimes my doubts creep in and I want to cut her throat to stop the suffering. But something inside me cannot let her go. I need to find the cure. The band? I don't think they're gonna be able to help. Okay, so I loot everything from here. Cool. Woodley Burger. Nice. <sighs> Alright. Let's go into the anesthesiologist. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah. More Healy News. More, more, more healing news. God damn it. God, what the hell? Magical blood that flows through the veins of twins, allowing them to communicate with each other by thought alone. Some even claim that brothers and sisters could appear next to each other in seconds across incredible distances. It is not surprising that the first explorers to arrive on the island called such gifted younglings witch children. Unfortunately, they seldom survived ten or eleven summers once chosen for sacrifice. However, the most striking tale of that of nights when no moon was in the sky, the nights when the little twins would be sacrificed. The children would dance torch in hand around the tribes to cease while the remaining tribesmen extinguished their torches. With this ritual, the dead would walk the earth again at least for one night. Okay. Can I have some items? Hello. Uh, I hate it. His body is badly burned. 
Yeah, and it really just looks like it could move at any time. Why is there... I would prefer Healy News. Why is there another door in here? I hate it. Oh. Of course it's open. Wait, this is the room that I didn't want to go in. This is the room I didn't want to go in. I hate it. The blood of the chosen twins. Cool. I hate that I'm here. You tricked me into walking into this game, game. All squishy entrails and whatnot. Hate that. I also hate that. I don't want to be near it. Are you an enemy? I... Hi. This buddy appears to have been operated on multiple times. Doesn't even look human anymore. Who is doing this? I don't know, but it reminds me of Heisenberg soldiers. From RE8. Anybody else get that? Vibe from these things? These creatures? Especially this one over here? I, that, is that just me? Please tell me it's not just me. Hi. Uh, okay. What does that do if I turn off the power? What is the point of me doing that? What is the point of me turning off the power to this fucking room? I know I hate it. I know I freaking hate it. I... Did it turn the power off in this room, too? Look at the glowy bulbs. Whoa. Other than cutting the power to various areas, what did that do? So now I have to do my flashlight, my lighter if I'm in there? Cool. Is that the room with the thing that can attack me? I think it was that room. There's so many freaking rooms. No, that's an operating room as well. Huh? What? Is there multiple rooms like that? Stop it. <laughs> I need that power back. I want that power back. Oh, we turned it back on that power. Yep, wrong. Funk. Funk me sideways. Alright, we are turning that shit back on. I am holding my weapon. <laughs> oh, it's still dark in here. Cool. Nice. Okay, so... Not that room. <laughs> you need to chill, bro, with your... Plate nipples. Your plate breasts. Now, is this room dark? Where are you? Oh! 
That does not stop whatever that thing is. Nope, we're going there. I think that's to combine for the shotgun. Ha ha ha! Shotgun made from modified items. That looks pretty freaking sweet. I got some shells, baby. Is it a single shot use? Maybe. Okay, so that's a yeah. We're gonna see what the hell this is. Hi, he's in that room. Man in a radioactive suit is walking around a body with circles. You're here. Cool. More ammo. Anybody have to fight that thing? Don't make me fight that thing. At least I got my shotgun. Hi. Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? Please explain. Sir, I'm terrified and may have pooped a little. Avert your eyes and cover your nose. That shit's terrifying. I'm talking about it not me. I'm scared, okay? Please explain. What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. That's bullshit. If you don't see it, you damn sure hear it. That is very loud. You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? That's glass? I think it's just two open windows with wires. My child, this place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. I'd probably die. I don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination, father. I think that is not a product of the imagina imagination. I don't think that's true. It's fucking. It's kind of cute, though. I, I'm. A, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I, I think it's actually a little cute. <laughs> he kind of glitches out when he hits that corner right there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. Uh -huh. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. Fascinating. The shaman of the tribe, shaman. those with special blood, danced around their dead. Uh -huh. Willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. I think I had just read about that, though, so. Tell me something new. God, it does glitch out when he hits that corner. That sounds terrifying. I mean, yes. But. There's a lot of things that are terrifying here. Like when he hits that corner, though. Everybody, look. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hundreds of the sh that. That's all. That's all I get from him. I mean, I got ammo. Would have been nice to get health in this room too. I got shotgun now. That's what that was. It's just fucking light doing that. I hate it. Better not be dark in here. Okay, cool. I have to go into that operating room, don't I? Gone in here, right? Oh! Fuck you! That's the room with the guy and go fuck himself bro out of here bro yeah I hope so so it's this room cool that douche I have enough ammo to fucking kill you, my friend.
He is right there. I can't do shit in that darkness. Fun. <laughs> That's awfully cool him that he could do that. There must be candles or something in that fucking room. To light that room. Because otherwise that room is just not accessible to me. Cool, I'm glad I used the rest of my health. Now I know that that actually works from that side. But I'm fine. Like wine. All the goddamn time. But. Fuck. Dude, that guy fucking wrecked me. There are two bodies here. Which door did I come through? No. There's Scary McTall, man. Bulky McFace boy. I... Well, he is on the other side of the room now. Should I try to light a candle or something? <laughs> Fuck you and your mother whore. How? There we go. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's done that before where it's like there's candles in here and realize that last time and we're going to kill that thing. We're going to kill that thing hard. I hate you, bud. Really wish I would have realized that the first time. Hindsight is a mother. Okay, let's fucking go. <sighs> Bitch! There needs to be a health in here. There needs to be a health in here. I used so much. Spank you very fuck. <laughs> oh, it knew. Oh, the game was like, yeah, you're gonna fuck up, bro. I can phase through this, but it won't give me an item. How dare you? Something else, please make this worth it. Other than a path through. Oh no, you suck. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm gonna go in that operating room, by the way. Don't hurt me. It's the only place I think I haven't explored. Don't be dark. I've been in this operating room. Where the funk am I going? I didn't get anything new. I'm gonna save it to a separate slot, I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> no. God damn you, game. As if I don't know how to do that. I need a save it room. I think this is where he was. 
No, it's a... Bro, I'm out of here. Like... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm... I'm and it. I... I don't know what to do next, and I hate this. <sighs> We're gonna play Uncle Bar. <laughs> cool, nothing to say? Cool. Okay, guys. Progress was made. At the very least, you could say that progress was made. I used so many healy dudes, especially because of that dickhead in that room. Um, God, his attacks suck dick. Like, he has very long range. Oh. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. We made progression. I'll look up what to do next. Um, because I'm not going to be wandering around. And I'm not going to be wandering around. So, we'll see what happens next time. I'll watch more of JJ's playthrough. And I'll get a uh, good idea of what I need to do next. Maybe the acid on the body? One of these bodies that I'm running around? Because I still am just wandering around with a bottle of acid. As one does. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, share around. So people know I exist. Watch some hilarious highlights. Watch some monthly highlights. The September 2024 highlights are out. All 16 highlights are packaged for you. Go enjoy those. We finaled Spooderous Manorous. And we finaled the Tomb Raider trilogy in that. Which I am so happy to do. Like, watching Laura's progression throughout those three games. And also the fact that they changed her model look and everything throughout the games. Especially at the end. Was just so amazing to go through and watch and participate in. It was really cool watching her go from this forced survivor mode. To just complete badass by the end of it. And just... Um just the tomb raiding queen that I know so well um um and accepting like her family's death and wanting to be at her home and making it a happy place instead of one filled with just so much sadness and everything that's why the thumbnail for the highlights is her um just smiling just content and happy at the end of that game like the third game it's just that's what i wanted there was a couple other thumbnails i had in mind especially one where she's gotten like that glowy god power thing inside of her and she's like oh i was considering that but i was like no what needs to happen is it has to be that content beautiful laura with the glow behind her and her just happy that ending it's just it was so good she's like i've been through a lot of shit and now i'm at my home and my home is a place of happiness for me now instead of a place of just heart-wrenching uh badness essentially so yeah like i said the progression of her throughout the three games and then that satisfying ending of her being happy and everything after all of that and her just obviously looking just different from the first game like you can see like life has happened and years have gone by and everything it's so nice um, there's a lot more things I could say about how much I like those Tomb Raiders with the combat and everything and the graphics and Jonah's 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 story and everything, especially the end there. That was that was so good too. Um, my bye. <laughs> but seeing her like that right at the end, it was just bugging me for the longest. I was like sitting there going, ah, "It has to be this thumbnail. It has to be this one. Like it's so well done." So, yay for Tomb Raider completion in those um, clips. So, go watch that. Go watch the clippers from the month of Laura in the completed ooze. Um, and yay, we beat Spooderus Manorus as well. Um, it was a very progressive September of 2024. And now we're playing this again. We may be able to beat it. Like... 
from what I've heard, the game can be anywhere from 10 to 12 hours. So, even though I've basically gone into most of the rooms in this place, I'm still not even close. From what I think, I may be like halfway. <laughs> Let's just say I might be halfway, if I'm lucky. Um, there are still several more doors to unlock, and those doors might be to other doors. This place is unnecessarily huge, but I like it, because it's meant to be unnecessarily huge. It's like, there's a uh, hospital, and it's a mansion, and it's like... Jesus, dude, there are so many fucking rooms in here. There's rooms within rooms within rooms. This is like an estate. Like a mansion-y, mansion-ass, big bulky there are like a hundred I'm exaggerating there's so many rooms so I like it it's a good setup for the game to just have this bulky area of traversing so and also locking unlocking places so I can traverse back through and all that it's it's really nice so guys thank you all so much for watching uh, watch the streams that I've done because they're on here. Everything's in a playlist, obviously. So I love you all to death. Never ever forget that. And I will see you fellow knights in a later time. Bye, guys.